we were about to restore life to the planet. But to do that, first we needed to find out where the Firebird was hiding so we could give him back the crown. What are you looking for, little prince? Something that will hold all four of us. Okay, here we go. A boat? But, but there's not a single drop of water on this entire planet. Yes, I know, Fox. There must be something we can do. Splendid! A little cloud will do the trick. Y you serious? Uh, but how? We'll use it as a sail. Huh? Oh. Let's go. All aboard. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at this old tub. <laughs> Safe travels. Goodbye, Shinjo. And don't worry, we're going to save your planet. Woohoohoo! Hoist the mainsail! But seriously, we don't know where to find this Firebird or how to approach him without being roasted like chickens. On that note, does anyone have an actual plan? You should know where to find the Firebird, since you stole the crown from him. I was haunted by the fact that the Firebird would choose you over me. You, you've read so many books, studied music, drawing. Me, I'm just a warrior. A true warrior would never submit to the judgment of an ignorant bird. Who's there? Show yourself. Tell me, wouldn't a true warrior simply go forth and claim his crown? Well... What would your father have done in this situation? He would not have broken the rules. The rules? <laughs> Come now, Prince Wong. You should know that rules are for the weak. The powerful do as they wish. If you want this crown, take it. If you do not, your sister will succeed to the throne. Is that what you want? But no one even knows where the Firebird is. Oh, I know where it is. And I can take you there, if you want. You must take me there! Your wish is my command, my king. I didn't know where I was, or how I'd arrived there. Only that I was atop a great mountain. And then, just as the sun was beginning to set, the firebird appeared. Rose, transformed into a statue. It happened just as it did in the stories my father had read to us. He was vulnerable, defenseless. All I had to do was take it. You weren't thinking, as usual. Don't be too hard on your brother. The snake can be very convincing. It's going to get dark soon, and we'll have all night to find him. But when it comes to mountains, we have a lot to choose from. Yo ho, a sailing we will go. Hold on a second. I just remembered an ancient legend of our people which says that the firebird disappears at dusk, just where the sun is setting. And the sun sets in the west. Mm -hmm. Is there one mountain that's higher than all the others in the west? That's Mount Izu! Then that's where we'll find the Firebird. Hard to starboard! Question, doesn't this seem a little too easy to you? direction.
wind is pushing us straight ahead. It's impossible to stop or even turn around. Just keep us steady. I've got this. Right. Be careful, little prince. He cannot be trusted. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Did you lose something? <gasps> By running after me all the time, you only get further away from your asteroid and your dear Rose. I hope you left a trail of pebbles to guide you back home. And you? Why do you leave a path of destruction wherever you go? My planet is here in my heart. One day I'll go back. But it might take you a very long time, whereas I could help you get home immediately. Leave these two to their sad fate. Let them resolve this family dispute without you. You are wasting your time, Snake. We're going to return the crown to the Firebird, and this planet will rise from the ashes. Oh, it's amusing how you like to complicate your life, little prince. No, it's you who complicates my life. <laughs> Mount Izu. Hey, wake up. We've arrived. <gasps> Look over there, on top of the mountain. Oh. That bird is truly magnificent. He looks so peaceful. Yes, and that's exactly how I prefer him. Princess Fang, is the crown ready? Is it really wise to let a bird decide? Now it's your turn to reign. Princess? Yes. Yes, of course. Prince Wong, would you like to return the crown? Absolutely not. I thought I was clear. I simply don't trust him. And the fact that he saved our lives, you don't think that earned him any trust? I carried this crown, and I'm going to give it back. Hmm. Princess. It is my turn to reign. This crown belongs to me. It is my destiny. I will be queen! No! <gasps> you see? The Firebird is no longer angry. Hence, I am the rightful heir to the throne.
understand. What's the matter with him? He didn't choose you, so clearly I'm the heiress. I'm afraid the Firebird doesn't share your point of view. Ugh. Ah, my tail! <sighs> Quick, we need the boat. No, Fox. In the sky, we'll be too exposed. I have a better idea. Solid ground. Thanks for your help, my friend. See you soon. I just don't understand. The bird is furious. Regardless of who is wearing the crown, he will not stop. In the end, you're not so different from me. I'm not like you. Would you please stop fighting? This is exactly what the snake wants you to do. Why can't you two see that? Not much farther. We're definitely on the right track. I'm sorry, Wong. What do I do? You could start by removing that crown. It's not so easy to give up power, is it? Hmm. Forgive me for being so quick to judge you. Forgive me for imprisoning you in that tower, Feng. Hmm. All right, we should keep moving. What'll it be? A flying ocean liner? Even better. Oh, a giant umbrella. You expecting rain or something? Seriously, what are you gonna do with it? Travel, let's go. <sighs> Fox, jump up in my arms, please, and make sure you hold on tight. But I don't even know how to fly. Don't worry about a thing, Fox. Just hang on and the wind will take care of the rest. Huh? Up yeah. we go! I'm sick of flying! <laughs> <Whoa. gasps> a day now. I hope there wasn't a problem. The Firebird! <sighs> Sound the alarm! Quick! <laughs> We're doomed this time. Thank you. 
You got here just in time. <laughs> That's it. One way or another, we have to prevent this bird from destroying whatever's left of our world. There you go, rushing in again without thinking. Didn't you learn anything from what happened? Let go of me! Do you have a better solution? Oh boy, here we go again. Not to think I always wanted a little sister. Wong, wait! We must be able to save our kingdom together. Huh? Fox, Shinjo, go put out the fires with the rainwater from our reservoirs. As for us, we'll go look for the Firebird so we can give him back his crown. Go put out the fires? Sure, is that all? Because for a second there, I thought it was going to be something challenging. Let's go! It's over. Oh no! Look! Make it rain? Mm. Tickling the clouds. <sighs> More sheep? Looks like the little prince's handiwork. That boy gets some very strange ideas sometimes. I'm not strong enough. I don't think I can. Maybe you can do it together. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, my beautiful bird. All they wish to do is return the crown. I don't think they'll fight over power anymore. Keep the crown. Huh? <gasps> you still don't know who he's going to choose. This is your last chance. I trust you. Me too. I trust you. And the Firebird. I may have learned many things from the books I have read, but I do not possess the strength or the courage of my brother. And I might be a good warrior, but I do not have my sister's knowledge or patience. Neither of us deserves to reign. <laughs> Why do you keep comparing yourselves to one another, when it's so obvious that you two complement each other? What if this planet... Needs both of you. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, my sister? I think so. No more fights. We shall reign together. <laughs> Look. Isn't it wonderful? The Firebird has given us his consent. But I'll have my revenge soon, little prince. Yes, we shall meet again. How can I thank you, little prince? You saved our world. 
and both of our hearts as well. They're just too cute. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm gonna miss them. Well, we were only able to defeat the snake because we worked together. So, thank you. I will never forget you. Here, Shinjo. You definitely kept up your end of the bargain. You can keep it if you want. I'm giving up the stonecutter thing. I've decided to raise chickens in my hen house. Really? <laughs> well, well, isn't that interesting? And where might one find this hen house exactly? Ahem. <clears throat> it's time uh, to go, Fox. But, uh, gotta go. The snake's probably on his way to another planet already. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, little prince. Goodbye, Fox. Goodbye, everybody. The journey continues. And the next adventure will take me even farther away from you, my rose. But I know that you are out there, somewhere, at night. When I listen to the stars, I can almost hear your laugh. I hope to see you soon. Until then, be happy. I'll be waiting, my little prince.